Hi guys and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. I'm here today at the Marriott Forest of Arden filming you a clip on why exiting and releasing left is good for your golf game. So most of the best players in the world would do what I class as exit left. And when I teach a lot of good players, I always harp on to them about trying to exit left. And a lot of them struggle to understand the reason why. So hopefully this video will explain it a little bit better, but also give you two great drills to help you exit left more successfully. So what I tend to see a lot with good golfers is they tend to get the arms going away from themselves through impact, losing this connection and getting a lot of wrist extension through the golf ball. Now the best players in the world, these hands disappear very quickly around their body when they're hitting golf shots, exiting as I would call left. Now this means that they're going to lose, use their hands far less than someone that's exiting to the right. So when the hands exit left, the club face can stay much more passive and we control that club face a lot better through that impact zone, which is essentially what I want from this video. Now the slice of this world trying to exit left, even though it's the correct direction to swing on, might feel that this encourages their slice more. So the slice of this world might wanna work on the release pattern first before they work on releasing left, if you like. So what we'd want to see is this club shaft working its way over to this left hand stick here. And at the same time, I'd wanna see the forearms releasing and maintaining the connection between my forearm and my bicep and my pec here as we go through. So it's connected, it's released, and it's going to the left hand side all in one go. That would be the ideal scenario. Now the golf swing, if we're hitting down on the golf ball, automatically points to the right. So exiting left makes our path stay very neutral. And that's what we're looking for, is a fairly neutral path and a fairly neutral club face to hit a straight shot. But the more we swing left, the more we'll rotate, the more we'll use our body rather than our hands, and the more we'll control this club head through the impact zone, which is why nearly all good players, I'd want them to turn onto the ball and exit left. So two drills here. One is a stick here, which we would look to swing left of and underneath of. So for the people who try, like to try and miss something, this works quite well as a constraint. The other people that like to actively try and hit something, we'd have this stick here and we would try and hit it. So whether you want to miss something or hit something, both these drills can work for you. And it'll give you vital feedback and evidence whether you're doing it correct or not. Let's try a shot and we're going to try and miss this stick in an ideal world. So take my setup. On a little squeegee, little cut back into the middle of the fairway there. And I missed that stick, what well, felt like with ease, but maybe it wouldn't look that easily on the, on the slow down video, but it felt a little bit of pressure to miss it, but I missed it quite easily in terms of the evidence. So in an ideal world, Xing left is gonna make your body work more, make your hands work less. So those people that like that kind of body release feel, these two drills and encouraging you to swing left post impact is ideally what I want you to do. So have a go at swinging left, see how it improves your ball flight control. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content for free coming every single week on my channel. And please post any comments or any future videos you might want me to do in the future. Thanks for watching.